In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the mask modifier. It's one of the easiest modifiers there are, but if you're not familiar with vertex groups, then it might not be easy at all. So we'll just take a quick look. So I have a basic cube. I'm going to press, well, I'm in edit mode, so I'll press W and subdivide it a couple times here. And then maybe I'll press A, deselect everything, I'll press C, get the circular select tool, and I'll just left click at certain places, maybe down here at this corner, or that corner. I won't get everything, just that back corner, maybe that corner. So I have a bunch of faces selected in here. And then from this, I need to create a vertex group. So the way it works is you go, you go in this button, the upside down triangle button, and you come down here to the vertex group. And I'm going to add these to a particular group, all those that are selected. I'm going to call it the mask group. And for those of you who've worked, oh, that didn't really work, mask group. Okay, so I'm going to give it any weight. It doesn't really matter what the weight is. In this particular case with the mask modifier, you can set it to whatever weight you want and the difference in weight doesn't make any difference. As long as it's just set, that's what counts in this particular modifier. Um, though if you're new to Blender, if you're working with cloth material, soft body physics, that the weight makes all the difference in the world. So in any case, I have the weight here and I have to assign it and it, the name of it is mask group so then I go get the mask modifier by pressing the, this button here with a little wrench looking thing come down here grab the mask modifier and then I have to give it a vertex group and I'll give it the mask and then just by doing that when I leave edit mode there it is so everything that I have selected in that vertex group shows up and everything I don't doesn't show up so that's what your objects going to be so it's a really easy way maybe it's a way you want to make windows in a building um, who knows whatever and so well that's it so really the key is that the vertex group the values in the vertex group don't mean anything in this when you're in edit mode it could be 1.1 it's not going to have any difference if you have different uh, values different weighted values for it. All right. Okay. Well, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.